the number one thing that will stop you from ever getting out of your nine to five job and having your own business, the spirit of learned helplessness. This is something that one of my mentors, Ty Lopez, told me about a few years ago and it stuck with me ever since. You know, they have this saying in our community, life is like a jungle. Sometimes it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. And the reality of it is, life is a jungle. And in this jungle, you're an animal. You wanna be a beast, but you're the animal that's locked in the cage. The cage represents your nine to five job, the school system, the status quo limiting beliefs, all of the things that are imprisoning you from stepping outside of the box and taking things to the next level. Um, you're in these systems that pretty much keeps you in a cage and the institutions become a zookeeper. Stick with me for a second. So at a nine to five job, you get paid typically um, the first and the 15th for most people, right? You get a check on the first of the month, you get a check on the 15th of the month, and this is how most people find security. Now, the zookeeper is the boss. With you being that animal in the cage, you develop a behavior pattern where you get comfortable with getting a guaranteed check every first and 15 even if you coast to work no matter what you do you show up you call in sick either way you're getting paid right that's the zookeeper and you're getting a carrot in that cage but the thing about it is this you were not created to live in a cage but because the fact that this cage is now your existence you being fed by the zookeeper is all you know. So if somebody were to ever unlock the uh, door to the cage and you have an opportunity to get out and then get into the jungle, well, how are you gonna thrive? If you don't know how to go out and kill the prey, eat the food, and you know continue to keep your civilization rolling, how are you ever going to do that if you spend your entire life imprisoned in a cage? Here's what I'm trying to get at. Here's the point. In this modern world, so many people are becoming so helpless that they can never develop the self-sufficiency to go out and actually find out how to do things on their own. You know, it, it's amazing to me how sometimes people might have questions about the most basic of things that you could literally find in 30 seconds on google.com. See, 30 years ago, it might have been harder for you to discover the things that you really wanted to seek out in life because you didn't have resources that were at your disposal that was walking you through how to do things. But literally now, you're living in a day and time where all you have to do is pick up your smartphone and you could literally look up so many answers to questions of things um, that are leaving you curious about how to get to the next step on your road to success. Despite the fact that all of the resources are in front of you, you don't go out and get them because there's no zookeeper to put it in your mouth, <laughs> right? That's the difference. The food is there. The resources, the opportunity, the knowledge, the moment is here. God is giving it to you. But you've developed such a spirit of learn helplessness you only get resources when, when somebody puts it in your lap and says, here you go, Merry Christmas. Here's your resource that anytime outside of that point, you can't do it for yourself. And the number one thing that all entrepreneurs are masters at doing is doing for self. They realize and understand that even when life 
doesn't give them the answers in a way that is apparent, they go out and they search out the answers until they find a solution. You know, this kind of reminds me of something very important that Christ said so many years ago. He said, seek and ye shall find, ask and ye shall receive, knock and the door shall be opened to you. But the world has just become so helpless and so watered down in a way where it's like, we expect the door to be open and we haven't even knocked. We'll literally ask somebody else to knock on the door of opportunity for us just so that way we can walk into the room. We will ask somebody else, hey, can you ask life this so that way I can benefit from it? Take yourself out of the period of learned helplessness. What I want you to do is this. I want you to leave me a comment and I want you to give me your reflection on a time in your life where you got caught up in that spirit of learned helplessness where you were just unnecessarily dependent on somebody else um, to be able to give you something that you needed and it wasn't for them, it was for you. You know what I mean? I hope that you understand. The more dependent that you become on somebody else, even as for the smallest of things in your life, the harder it will ever be for you to get out of that cage because you are so programmed to rely on the zookeeper that you can't even go out in the natural habitat and be in the wild to be able to kill your prey and eat. Now here's the thing that's crazy. The zookeeper is only giving you the crumb of all of the food that's out there in the safari, right? You've got this plush savanna that's right in front of you, and I'm talking about, you, you can walk away with the lion's share of life. If only you knew how to hunt and kill. But when you rely upon the zookeeper to give you everything, you only get a tiny morsel. As an entrepreneur, one of the things that I really want you to focus on is you have to constantly be in the mode of solving problems. You have to constantly be in the mode of just going through life with nobody handing you a roadmap, but you finding out a lot of the answers on your own. Leave me a comment. Tell me about a time where you actually suffered in life because you were too dependent on another person. And tell me about how that backfired on you in terms of your own personal success. If you don't get out of the spirit of learned helplessness, you will never be as successful as you can possibly be. So break the habit, become more self-sufficient, take life into your own hands, and start seeing some big results. Take care.